Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, it's March now. Time to go buy a new fishing license. I'm headed over to Walmart to pick that up. Then I might go throw around a jerk bait for a minute, see if I can get any bass. I'll be right back. All right, now that I got my spiffy new fishing license, it's time to see if I can catch my first winter bass. It looks like they opened up the dam. The water level has receded. I can get back to the pier. Let's see what I'm fishing with today. So I got my quantum snapshot out today. Fishing that on a classic 200 Bass Pro Shops, the six footer. I'm not sure of the action. Medium action, six to 12 pound line. I got 12 pound test braid, six pound test diameter. And I'm fishing this chartreuse suspending jerk bait. Let's see if I can get that first bass of the year. I'm using a slightly erratic twitch pattern. Twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, twitch. Just, just mixing it up. Making sure it has some pauses in there though. That's when fish like to capitalize. Thought I had a bite, but I snagged the bottom. This is the main reason I'm not using a crankbait, which would dive down to the bottom. I can keep this relatively shallow, and I don't typically pick up a bunch of crap on the bottom. However, that time I did. Been a little while since I caught a bass. I'm really hoping to get one today. The water's a little bit muddy. It really seems like it's been raining for weeks. Here's the characteristic of the snapshot. You can just grab it with this trigger, squeeze and it opens the bale. I don't typically use the uh, snapshot function. I, uh, I'm just used to grabbing the line and opening the bale. Again, I'm looking for my first bass of the year in this rainy, muddy water. My jerk bait has a little rattle inside that might help them find it. Oh, <laughs> almost stuck in a tree. Fish on. All right, first fish of the year. Oh man, I'm going to walk him to the shore so I can get him off the hook without hooking myself. He's hooked twice, once under the gill plate and once in the bottom lip. There he is, nice little bass. Nothing to write home about, but it's my first one of the year. Got him over here on a chartreuse jerk bait. First bass of the year, all right, let's let him go. See ya. 
Let's take a look at what I got him on. This little suspending jerk bait. Mostly chartreuse, got a little bit of orange and red on it. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's try this side. Whoa! Hit that tree up there behind me. I wasn't I wasn't aware of my surroundings. I did a video just like this about a year ago. Another bass, fish on. I was just saying I did a video like this about a year ago where I had pretty good luck on a jerk bait as well. Here we go, another bass. A little bit bigger. Switch hands here. Getting closer to a pound. Got him out this way. Once again on the chartreuse jerk bait. This water temperature is in the mid to high 50s, which means a few bass are gonna start roaming around looking for stuff to eat. I'm glad I got two so far. Let's let them go. Sweet. Doing better than I thought I would. Got to keep trying, right? I don't know if you guys can see it, but way out there, there's a few shad jumping around. Can you see the action on it? Just darts around in random directions. Drives those bass crazy. I'm glad I got my medium action out today. Helps prevent ripping the hooks out of the fish's mouth. And it helps provide good twitching action. Tricky cast. Let's hope it pays off. We'll try a few more casts around here. Maybe over there at the other end of the park. We'll throw a few through here though. When the weeds start growing in, this is a good place for bedding bass right here. When it hit the water, it kind of dove under the pier right there. That was pretty neat. I have a feeling it's going to be a good year, even though we're going to have some cold weather on the way. Oh, yes, did you see that? Got that stack. I'm all like, it's going to be a good year. Then I cast right into a tree. But I got it back. This braid is pretty strong. On this side, there is unpredictable wood and branches and shit in the water. Got a little bit over here. I know there's some out that way. And there's some over this way. So I'm going to play it safe and fish right through here. Green slime. Oh, I cracked the bill off of this thing already. Probably in the tree, I didn't even notice. Bummer. All right, so I snapped the, I snapped the lip off of this. Now it's just a suspending stick bait, which doesn't do me any good. 
All right, well, I think that's it. The day started out pretty good. I'm still grateful I got two small bass this morning. Hopefully it's gonna be a good season. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.